name's Usha Shah. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer in 2020, the year of the lockdown. Having cancer, being diagnosed during most critical times when the world is facing health crisis was quite hard. Where to go, where to start, it was very, very difficult. My husband got in contact and did some research and he found Breast Friends. And he said, get in touch with these people. This is a group that will help you and it will point us in the right direction. From Breast Friends, I managed to find out that MediClinic would be the best support for me. I managed to get in contact with MediClinic and immediately they gave me a, an appointment with Dr Shahina, who was my oncologist and still is my oncologist. After my appointment with Dr Shahina, I was told immediately to start my treatment as soon as possible without any delay. So the first point of treatment started off with my chemotherapy and I had 16 sessions followed by radiation and I ended up losing all my hair, although I decided to shave my head on my third session. Even though I tried the cold cap, um, it wasn't working for me. Um, I just wanted it off. I just wanted to start fresh. What kept me going was the team of nurses, the support that I had throughout the whole treatment through MediClinic. Absolutely brilliant. I speak about myself, but I also speak about others, and they say the same thing. I couldn't have asked for a better team than MediClinic. Clinical support is the most important part of this whole process. You need to fully trust all the people around you, all the doctors, nurses, all the care that you're getting. And MediClinic completely did that. Dr Shahina was absolutely wonderful. Thank you City Hospital, thank you Dr Shahina, and thank you MediClinic as a whole. You have been absolutely brilliant. My name is Shahina Daoud and I'm a medical oncologist at MediClinic City Hospital. I first uh, met uh, Usha way back in 2020 when the world was collapsing and closed down because of COVID. And as a physician, I was utterly miserable, not being able to hug anyone. I'm a big hugger uh, with my patients. Then Usha walks through my office door comes and sits on the chair opposite my desk. It was like a breath of fresh air. She had strength of conviction. She had uh, the motivation to get over the diagnosis that she had just been given with in a, at another facility. She was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer, completely curable, but would require her to go through a little bit of a tough journey uh, to get rid of it. She went through chemotherapy with flying colors. Uh, she taught me how to dance actually during her chemotherapy. Bald look beautiful. I remember this one time she walked into my clinic with henna on her head and she looked absolutely glamorous. She then went through surgery and radiation therapy again with flying colors. But her true journey started after that when she started having endocrine therapy. And I think that was a little bit tougher for her because as a woman to block your hormones is not easy. As a woman to go through the journey may, may be tough initially, but then to accept it later on is also not easy. But she did it, and she did it with flying colors. She did it with the support of her amazing family, of an amazing support group that comes with the whole package. And I know she's taught me a lot. Um, it's been such a pleasure to treat her, such a pleasure to, I think, become her friend as well, and to actually go through that journey with her. I learned something from every patient and I learned with Usha that it's important to be strong but it's also important to be weak sometimes, to just be able to express your emotions and she's had so many different ways of expressing it. I've, I've learned a lot from her. So thank you Usha for all that you've done for me.